Hi, I'm Hillary Clinton. And I'm Chelsea Clinton. And this is Variety's Power of Women. Leadership doesn't look one way. It's a giant rainbow. You're not gonna break me down. You'll get worn out before I do. Women who push us outside our comfort zone. You got this. And make us laugh. Gutsy is based on the book of Gutsy Women that Chelsea and I wrote together. We were so excited to work with our production company, Hidden Light, and Apple TV Plus to bring stories of gutsy women to the screen. And in the book of Gutsy Women, we celebrate many women who are still with us and admittedly even more who sadly are not. Understandably, Apple TV Plus said, we want to highlight women who are alive because we're not gonna have any seances. And so another part of how the series came to be was a really wonderful discovery of women who we didn't know, who we are so proud and grateful to be able to include in Gutsy. I want more people, not just women and girls, but men and boys, to see the gutsiness of the lives of not just women that we already know about, but so many women who every day get up and do something that is really gutsy. And hopefully then to have conversations with the women in their lives about the ways in which they've had to be gutsy because we think every woman at some point, often every day, has had to be gutsy. My singing voice sounds fine to me, but not to anyone else within hearing distance. Yes. <laughs> if you asked my children, they would say I'm very good at removing stains. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a very little girl and I was about four years old, I'd go outside and all the kids would bully me and push me down. And I'd you like, were new to the neighborhood. I was new to the neighborhood, but boy, they were giving me a tough time and I'd go back in the house crying. One day my mother met me and she stopped me at the door and said, there's no room for cowards in this house. Go back outside. I thought my world had ended, but I did what she told me, stood up for myself. And from that moment on, I've tried to be uh, gutsy in a lot of different circumstances. When I was little, I certainly remember being teased a lot and bullied a lot because of who my parents were. When I was in second grade, a couple of sixth graders put me in a locker and closed the locker because they wanted to see if like the state troopers would come and they thought that was really funny. And thankfully some other nicer, I think they were fourth or fifth graders, came and let me out of the locker. And I thought, oh gosh, well, I can either cry, which is what I was doing in the locker, or I can just like get up and kind of like screw them with a smile. Yeah, be gutsy. Everybody gets knocked down in life. What matters is whether you get back up and what you do when you are standing. That's what I told Chelsea when she was a little girl. That's kind of what I tell myself all the time. <laughs> I also very much hear my grandmother's mantra of life is not about what happens to you. It's about what you do with what happens to you. And sometimes the doing requires a lot of gutsiness. I also think about something that I know may sound cliche, but I first heard at a moment I really needed to hear it when I was in first grade, you know, that tomorrow is another day. Chelsea's just really game. I mean, she is the most focused, disciplined person I know. She has run one marathon. She's going to run another one, fingers crossed. And I just really admire that. I know who I am. And I know the world that I want my children and every child to grow up in and what I can do to get that reality and what I can't and have to support others to do to make that reality.